Hey, this is Matt from Cinefit Inc. And the one thing I always wish someone would have shown me earlier on when I was learning about cinematography is how important a light meter is. I've never found a video yet that can explain in the simplest terms what a light meter does and the difference between, say, an instant meter and a spot meter and a light meter. So I thought I would share those two points. I'm not going to talk to you about how to use a light meter yet, but I just want to lay out what a light meter is actually telling you. Once you can understand that in your head, for me, I'm able to understand a little bit more about what I can use the tool for so that it helps me. In order to do that, I wanted to share um, something about Middle Gray. This is a gray card. I'm sure you've seen one before. This is Middle Gray. This is the luminance of gray and brightness that's right in the middle between white and black in a frame, right? If you expose your frame or a subject within your frame, I should be more specific. If you expose me, for example, with a gray card next to me and I properly expose for middle gray, then my skin will be properly exposed. The great thing about a uh, light meter is that you don't need to use the gray card for the incident meter. You can point it at a light or where that light is shining on the point that you want to measure in your frame so that it's properly exposed and you take a measurement and it will tell you exactly where you need to expose your camera so that middle gray, if I were to put a gray card right here, is properly exposed. If middle gray is properly exposed, then my face is properly exposed. The incident meter is probably the most accurate one to use in terms of wanting to get any subject, anything exposed properly because not everything has the same luminescence, meaning my skin is brighter than that TV set, right? Or the camera back there, or it's brighter than that softbox too. But if I wanted to properly expose that softbox at middle brightness and I wanted you to focus right on that softbox, all I'd have to do is take that incident meter, take a reading, and this, all it would tell me is, is that middle gray would be properly exposed at that point. And if middle gray is properly exposed at that point, then that softbox is properly exposed. It will look like black. It won't be too bright. It won't be too dark. It'll be right in the middle. That's why the incident meter is, it's, it measures light falling on the subject. It doesn't care what the subject is. Where you get confused is when you use a spot meter. And I'll be brief about this, but just so you can understand, when you look at a spot meter, you're looking at the amount of light that's reflecting off the spot that you're pointing the meter at. Generally, you measure a spot meter, you take a reading of a spot meter from the point of the camera. So if I pointed my spot meter at that wall right there, that wall, you know, is brighter than middle gray. Well, it's about the same, you know, in terms of brightness. I don't know. But let's not use the wall. Let's use the TV as an example. The TV is definitely darker than middle gray, right? But if I pointed my spot meter at the TV, it would tell me the aperture I need to set so that the TV reflects the amount of brightness of middle gray. That would be too bright. That's why the spot meter will throw you off. If you point it at a black cat, it'll tell you how, it'll tell you the aperture setting you need to set it so that the black cat comes out in, at middle gray. You don't want a black cat to come out at middle gray. I don't want a black TV to come out at middle gray. I don't want my black softbox at middle gray. So what I do is you take an incident meter there if I want it to be properly exposed. What the spot meter does is give you a sense of dynamic range in the frame. But if you ever want to frame something or expose something correctly, like skin, then you measure with the incident meter where the light's landing on that skin, right where you want it to, where you want to people to focus on your camera. And once you take that incident reading, it will tell you where middle gray is properly exposed. It's like putting up a middle gray card right on my face and properly exposing this for middle gray. And if it's properly exposed, exposed there, then my face is properly exposed. It took me forever to figure that out. I hope that helped. There's a lot more you can learn about a light meter, building a frame that's interesting or an image that's interesting. There's so much more to learn and I wanna share it with you. I hope that helped. 
We'll talk soon.